everybody. How are we doing tonight? Hey, Cecilia. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, going, Green Mom. Hey, Amy. How are y'all doing? I, I'm doing great. I have had such, hey, Kira. I've had such a good day. I'll let some people get in here, and then I'm going to tell y'all about the day I had. I forgot to turn my resolution up. I don't know if it's too late to do it now. I could try it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I didn't turn the... No, it is. Cool. It's good. Awesome. I, I have some exciting news that I wanted to share with you guys. I'll, I'll let a few people get in here. We're going to pans getting on. We're going to do patty melts. It's one of my favorite foods. So, uh, <laughs> you realize he's the other half of Mama Z, huh? Yep, that is my wonderful sweet husband. I got my coffee going. I need to be drinking water. I did drink some water earlier, so. But I needed a little coffee. I I had something really cool happen today. That I'm just I, I don't even know where to begin to even talk about it. But uh, if y'all don't mind, uh, be sure and hit the thumbs up on your way in because that does help. First thing that happened, if y'all had uh, noticed, I got monetized and then I got demonetized. <laughs> um, when, it, when they monetized me, um, I had realized that I went and checked on stuff. I, I had put the wrong zip code. Conroe has about five zip codes. What was that? About five or six zip codes. And when I had filled it all out, I had accidentally put the wrong zip code in. Um, I had put our old zip code in. So when I went and changed it, it basically freaked the system out. And I got demonetized. Um, and it has taken me two weeks to get it fixed. It is finally fixed. So I am re-monetized. So that happened today. <laughs> um, so yay. Hey, Shayla. So it is all back. I am re-monetized as of today. Yay. <laughs> so that happened today. But something else happened today. So a few, I don't know, a couple months ago maybe, I shared with you guys that I did the Ancestry DNA thing. Um, I'm going to just let my pan get hot. We're going to start it out by frying up some bacon. I got some good bacon out of the, the butcher uh, deal at Kroger's, this good thick slice of bacon. bacon. Uh, they had it on sale, and that's the reason I got it. It was a lot cheaper than just buying the regular bacon. So I'm going to get some of this cooking. Um, so I got my results back. Um, for you that don't know, I was adopted out of the Texas welfare system when I was three years old. My birth mother actually died when I was about eight or nine months old. She was 15. And, um, you know, in the 70s, I was born in 73. Um, in her obituary, I was actually listed as her sister. Um, you know, it's kind of... Uh, it, she it was said that she died of a drug overdose, which was oh, grab me a towel. Hold on just a second, let me grab a towel real quick. You know me, I always forget something. Uh. So anyway, all that to say is I got my DNA results back and it started giving me some hits. Now <clears throat> I may have to turn the fan on. You know my smoke detector is going to go off. It never fails. We'll just get that going. So, 
Anyway, all that to say, I had a cousin reach out, it's about a, a third cousin, I believe, third or fourth cousin, reach out to me and said, hey, hi. Um, and actually have vague memories of my mother and her brother, which the, I only saw reference to her brother in the obituary and had not been able to find anything else about him. And um, so I talked to her for a little bit and she said, you have another cousin that's on Facebook. Let me get you in contact with her. So I've been visiting with this other cousin a little bit and seeing her picture for the first time in my entire life, guys. I am 47 years old. I looked at the face. I got the emotional here. I looked at someone's face that looks like mine. All my life, I've heard my little brother, because my little brother is my parents' biological child. Oh, Chris looks just like you know your parents. But I never had anybody who said, You look like your parents, or you, you know what I mean? I looked in the face of someone who looks like me. Yeah, huh? I know I'm getting emotional, but it's an emotional thing to, to see someone that looks like yourself. And uh, it was a pretty amazing feeling. <laughs> and I was like, um, we'll talk more later. I've got to go do my cooking show on YouTube. <laughs> I'm sure she probably thought, oh, wow. <laughs> but uh, forgive me for getting emotional. It, 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 that's a weird feeling to when you never look like anybody in your but besides your children. Um, to, to look at someone else that looks like you. So that happened today, just about an hour ago. So I'm still pretty in my feelings about it. <laughs> I know Nathan is Nathan saying suck it up, uh, Buttercup. <laughs> Turn my bacon down a little bit. Oh, this bacon smells so good. It's probably going to make my stomach texture go off. So, anyway, that happened today. And what's funny is she lives about two hours down the road from me. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, literally, we talked for 20 minutes before I had to go, go to get ready for the live. So, <laughs> but they, you know, that side of the family had no knowledge of me. I think uh, my grandfather, after my mother died, it was probably pretty painful. Um, and so he didn't talk anything about me and nothing of very little about uh, my mother so which you know can happen after a child dies so you know I don't I don't know why or um, the circumstances and, and I don't he's dead now my grandfather so I can't ask him why you know but I certainly don't have any ill, Ill feelings at all. It, it's just really neat to uh, be able to meet a, a family that they had no knowledge of me. So, yeah, I have to take that. Like that. Make sure it's good. Make sure it's good, huh? All right.
We may need to turn the air down a little bit. Hey, Kendra, it's probably easier for her to turn it, turn the air down and get some more airflow going. Can you turn the air down, please? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, this bacon is beautiful. You may need to open that window up a little bit. I sure don't want to set off the smoke detector. They should have cooked it in the other pan. everybody's week going. Let me tell you what, it has been cooler so far. We had some tropical uh, weather coming in. They're saying we could have another uh, little tropical depression by uh, Friday. I don't think it's supposed to be anything that uh, crazy. I'm not overly concerned about it. At least I won't have to water the garden too much. I need to make my chat bigger so I can see y'all. Hold on. Oh, I'll make some bacon. There's just nothing better. That was a good thing about doing Atkins or I never really did keto, but I I do more of a high protein. You do bacon. I I eat sausage every morning for breakfast, but I love me some bacon too. So we're going to caramelize. I've got about three onions that we're going to caramelize, and then we're going to cook our patties. And then we're going to make some Texas toast. I went in the other day. I, I went in. It was my fault. Grabbed a loaf of bread because I have a piece of toast every single morning with my breakfast. Well, I grabbed some Texas toast by accident. I wasn't paying attention. 
Well, that's almost too big for your just an average sandwich, but it's about right to make patty melt with. So. Add a little bacon here. Bacon is ready. Set that aside. I'm just going to take my onions and dump them right in. She was a baby. I had to give her soy formula. She couldn't do regular formula. And then she kind of grew out of it. Um, when I, I started giving her just regular cow milk, she was fine. When I took her completely off formula altogether, started giving her just milk out of a jug, she was fine. She was perfectly okay. Because um, I wasn't able to nurse. But... Uh, and then when she was about 16 years old, she started up with this where she couldn't do uh, milk, ice cream, uh, or, but there's certain cheeses. Like she can do, 
like Parmesan cheese, she can eat that. She can eat sweet Swiss cheese. She can do a little bit of cream cheese, um, a little bit of cream cheese. But then, I don't know, it's just really weird. Some things will bother her. She can, some things won't. I mean, I don't think she's full-blown lactose intolerant. She's just kind of lactose sensitive. We wanted to try the goat milk and see if she could do that better. All right. So I am. Oh, weird. Okay. I'm going to pull these out. Somebody just tried to call me. We get a spade. You grab a spade and roll. Lay him here. and we're going to cook the meat. I've just got, let's see, this is 80-20 uh, hamburger patties. Yes, this was some meat that was on clearance at Kroger's. You know, I want my uh, clearance meat. And I am real simple when it comes to seasoning. I just like salt, pepper. And my pan is already pretty much seasoned from the, the onions and the bacon grease. So and then you just want to set it on there. Don't touch it. While well, that's going, I'm going to get some of this Texas toast going. Using to this is my canned butter or my ghee. This stuff, I've done a video on this. I love making self self shelf stable butter. Say that three times fast. Y'all don't do this, man. 
you need to. This is too easy to do, and I love it. This is about the fifth batch that I've made. I don't know. I opened my cabinet up. You can see up to the top shelf. I just made a new batch. Especially being storm season. Uh, you know, power goes out. Everything in your icebox goes down. This stuff is stable. It's not going anywhere. All right, I have buttered up both sides of my bread here. And I'm just gonna put it over here in like the last five minutes. I will start this to cook it. And yes, my favorite client. But we won't cook that until about the last five minutes. And I'm gonna wait until this is almost brown before I turn it. Yes, please hit those thumbs up. That helps me tremendously. And I'm just cooking two at a time. Uh, I will cook all four patties and then uh, Peter Kinder can have it for one for lunch tomorrow. Now I'm just doing enough bread for Keith and Kendra. I'll probably eat mine without bread. <laughs> well, thank you for hitting that thumbs up. 13 people in here tonight. I sure appreciate all 13 of you. More than you guys possibly can know. It means a lot to me to draw our here. Hopefully it didn't stick too terrible bad. There's an onion or something on my floor. Got beautiful real mark comic. I probably found that one a little thin. Oh well. All right. Up a little bit more. Hey, Mr. Willie, how are you doing tonight, my friend? Mr. Willie, now that's something that made me cut right there. This man is 6'3 and skinny, but he eats like you would believe. It's not fair. I can look at something unhealthy and gain 10 pounds. It's just not fair. It's not fair. I don't know how he does it. We are doing patty melts tonight. I've already cooked some bacon. And grilled up some onions. We got some toast in the oven ready to go over there. I'm gonna go ahead and season up the other side a little bit. I'm just using salt and pepper. All I want on my burgers. I know people put all kinds of stuff on their burgers. I, I just, every once in a while, I'll put a little cavenders, but really, I just like salt and pepper. But here's another one to show y'all. I did a video uh, last week. 
Pickle red onions. Get my little deal. Oh my gosh, guys. These things are amazing. Holy crap. I, this is the first time I've ever actually done pickled onions myself. Or, yeah, I know, Miss Willie, you were like, ooh, these things are awesome. I really like them. They turned out really good. If you've never made them before, I did a video on them. Look how pretty they turned out. Are those gorgeous? And then, today's video, I made some mustard. Check that video out if you haven't checked that out yet. This turned out really good. So we're going to put some of that on, the, on these burgers too. You know, I'm just got where I'm really enjoying making my own condiments. And they're so much better for you if you can make them yourself. John, how are you, my friend? How's it up there in Alaska? Yeah, okay. Yes, I put 5 a.m. That's what I get. Uh -huh. I was I was doing so good, too. I, I was getting things out early yesterday, and I didn't hit that p.m. thing. I like my cup. This is boss lady. When I used to work at the prison, uh, that's what they called me, boss lady. Tender saw that cup. She, she got me that cup. <sighs> rained all day. It, it's threatened to rain all day here. I don't think it's, it's rained at all. Hey, 
Britt. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for coming in. We're making patty belts, my friend. And I'm making mine uh, all healthy like not eating bread. Now, if you wanted to put a lid on this, it probably would melt the cheese a little bit faster, but hey. Not like we have a list in that store. Right. I know, I wish it had came with a lid. I probably could order one on Amazon. It's melting now. It is going to be good. I had thought about getting real industrious and make some uh, fries in my air fryer. Yeah, that didn't happen. But, okay, I'm going to get this poster opened up. Mustard, guys, look at this. Y'all see it? It turned out so good. And it wasn't hard to make at all. I highly recommend it. I will say this get a, a beer that you really enjoy. Because, and even the ball book said that get a, a beer that you enjoy drinking. Using the expensive china tonight. Can you see that? And that bread needs a little bit more. All right. We just thought we were going to get down here. I'm going to pick that bread just a little bit more because I'm going to take these hamburger patties up and start the other patties. Hey, Brett, do you see that we can have a, a tropical uh, come through Friday? Not that I don't, I don't think it's going to do anything but maybe give us a little rain, which is a good thing for the garden, right?
Have I told him the octopus story yet? I ain't eating her off the... Nope. 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 We... It was almost a deal breaker when we first got together. This boy bought some octopus sushi. It was almost a deal breaker. Those little things had suckers on them. That's the best part. Nope. Nope. Miss Willie, it made me tough. I'm like, what in the same meal? That was what I said. Are you eating? Nope. I'm from the country. We don't eat crap like that. Pig slippers. Not ever. That was just gross. Yeah. I have learned to appreciate the fried calamari. I still don't like lobster because it's, it's chewy and the textural thing. I'm making my daughter's for Kendra. Kendra's patty milk. You're welcome. Yeah, tell them why you have to make her a score. Because she don't want to get on camera. She's camera shy. Yeah, and he says if, if lobster is cooked right, it's not rubbery. He said the lobster that I got the one time that he took me out to eat and got lobster was wasn't cooked right or was real rubbery. You remember that? Yeah. And I just haven't tried it since then. Yeah. And he may be right. I ate the textural thing, not a flavor thing. The flavor was fine. It was just real rubbery. And so I have it. You want to see the onions? Okay. I'm sorry. Here. Ah. Yeah, it's just kind of a, it's a textural thing for me. What are some of the, so here's a question for you. What are some of the foods that, that is just a deal breaker for y'all? Or should I ask that? It might be. This not going to gross everybody out, but. Well, we know what basis is. Blueberries? And cherries. And cherries. Yeah, and they think I do blueberry and cherries. Oh, these onions. See, I can, I can eat these. Mr. Woolley don't like onions. Mine's banana. Ginger doesn't like bananas. I like, I like the taste. She likes the flavor of bananas, but she don't like the texture of bananas.
Let's see. You know, I ate for the first time, I don't know, three or four years ago. We were, every year for Christmas, we have a, uh, our pastor takes us out to a, uh, I'm going to leave cheese off the other one, and then whoever gets to Patty's bar and put cheese on it, takes us out for a lunch. And we, we went and got hibachi. And he got a tuna roll. I never ate raw tuna before. And I'm not one to turn down a challenge. He put a piece of, of tuna sushi in front of me. And he's like, eat it. And I'm like, I didn't know eating no raw fish. And he's like, eat it. I dare you. I'm like, he put a little wasabi on it. Fine. And you know what? It was pretty good. That wasn't half bad. So I ain't had another piece of it. He said, I told you you didn't like it. You just try something every once in a while. I still ain't eating no octopus sushi. That ain't never going to happen. Because I ain't going to eat no sucker. Nope. I ain't going to happen. Yeah, I ain't eating nothing that tastes like rubber either. I ain't gonna tell you what it reminds me of. I'll just leave it at that. not to set the smoke smoke detector off. How about that, guys? Unplug this thing. Put my bacon on top here. Smother me some onions. There are plenty of onions over here. I want some more onions. Probably kept making way too many onions, but you know, hey. And this is how I do a patty melt. I'm almost ready for. Gravy mac and cheese, awesome. <laughs> All right, my friends. We landed this plane pretty good. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Um, you guys are what make it worthwhile for me to do my show. Uh, I love each and every one of you so much. Be sure and join us Saturday morning. I am still not sure what we're going to be doing. I will know by uh, probably tomorrow. But 9.30 a.m. We will be doing this again live on What's on the Plate with Mama Z. Thank you again for joining us tonight. I hope you all have a great evening. God bless. Love you guys. We'll see you all in the next one.